guys, it's Dale. I am here today with my, nope, I am here today for my full review of the Wasp Nano RDA. Um, I'm very excited about this, so we're just gonna cut to the chase and come down, let's talk about it, and let me show you all of the cool things I found out, pros and cons and all that good stuff, and we'll come back up, talk about it just a little bit more. All right guys, so this is what the box to the Wasp Nano looks like. It's very simple. This is the RDA, the Wasp Nano RDA. I can hear people yelling at me about that now. Um, and this particular one is the white one. And I'm sure that we will zoom in really nice and close so you can see all of its beautifulness. Um, here's the bottom. Um, also in the box comes with all of your bits and pieces, some cotton, um, and you do get, here it is right here, the squonk pin replacement as well, which ends up being, I like the Wasp Nano, um, the RDA particularly best. Does that make sense what I just said? Um, whenever it is used as a squonk RDA. I found that to be my personal preference, um, but I do know a couple of people around the office who just like it, how it comes. But I quickly um, changed out my bottom pin for the squonk pin and loved it in my RAM box. Loved it. So, yeah. So let me take this top cap off. Um, so, this is fairly, fairly simple. You have your Ultim uh, top caps with these massive airflow holes as well. They, they are very massive for the single coil builds that you'll be putting in here. Um, here is your, it's like, a, it's like a top cap drip tip combined into one, which I have my own complaints over. I think if you're gonna leave it this short, that that's kind of ridiculous. And um, I got a lot of spit back, condensation buildup that would drip into my mouth and I don't like that. So I put a um, just a standard 510 drip tip on top and it worked perfectly fine. And it didn't throw off any of the look of this RDA either. You just have to find one that doesn't throw the look off. Um, that is my complaint about the top cap. I also prefer in the RDA, I prefer the, the white and the black over um, that Ultim Yellow. I call it Ultim Yellow um, color. So that's just my preference. Also, you'll see in here, let me get my tool because I did not come prepared. The airflow comes directly through here onto your coil, which will sit right in the middle. The airflow is right here. It comes right across the coil. As you can see, I can put the um, screwdriver right through. Your coil will sit right in the middle. And I like building on this style deck because it's very, very simple. I just unscrew, your screws are on the sides here. I just unscrew one almost all the way out and one just barely out. And I slide it in like this and then I adjust my coil and cut the leads. It's very, very simple to build on one of these. If you are someone looking into building and wanting to learn how to build, I recommend this style um, deck for your first building adventure. Yeah, I do, I do like how nano sized it is, but I wish the well was a little bit deeper, but that's just my personal preference. That's why I think it's better on a squonk box. When I put it on my squonk box, I had I didn't have that issue because I have the juice right there with me. So yeah, that's what I think that this was made for in my opinion. All right guys, so like I said in the up close and personal, I did have one major complaint, um, which is the condensation leaking. And I had that with every single build that I put on it. If you guys have any builds that you love that does not cause the condensation to get into your mouth and all that good stuff, please let me know down below because I would like to try those as well. Um, but other than that, this was a very solid, very solid single uh, coil dripper. I enjoyed using it. I absolutely loved the flavor. Um, the vapor production was also just as uh, just as good, and um, 
Other than that one little complaint that I corrected by putting a drip tip on top, I, I love this little RDA. Um, yeah, so that is what I thought of the Wasp Nano RDA, and you can find yours at vapewild.com. Bye, guys.